reasons why Igbo politicians and APC may abandon the presidential ambitions and support to Nimbo. Welcome to the news and thank you for turning in to listen. As the 2023 presidential election approaches, many Igbo politicians have declared their intention to run because they believe they have something tangible to offer Nigerians more than anybody else. And in order to get the Igbo presidency, that's Ohanese is agitating for. First of all, I don't think that the Igbos <laughs> are actually saying they have any, something better than anyone else. No, no. Please don't put more fire on this injury. Don't put more salt. Eh? Then secondly, <clears throat> Tinubu's people, they campaigned. There was a time. I cannot remember the time vividly. But they came out and they said, if the Southwest, I don't know, is it Tinubu people or Tiku? Okay, it is Tiku that came out and said, you know what? The PDP members in the Southeastern Nigeria should support the PDP. And if they do that, that Atiku will only rule for one tenure, for one tenure, and at the end of the day, it goes back to the, it's go, it now goes to the southeast. Unless, <laughs> let's hear what this person's reasons are. Ah, news in detail. Please stay with us. People like Ojo Zokalo, Dave Umahi, and the former governor of Imo State have declared the intention to run. While many people believe that Chris Ngege and Rotimi Amechi are also not on the idea and will declare their intention very soon. On the other hand, the national leader of the party, who is also the former governor of Lagos State, Bola Ahmed Tinembu, has also declared his intention to run, and he is currently consulting people to create awareness. Why might southeastern politicians give up the presidential ambitions and support Bola Tinembu? To begin with, the current state of APC shows that the Southeast politicians have little chance of becoming the party's flag bearer, especially since it was recently reported that 14 governors and 26 chairmen abandoned the other candidates in favor of a Southwest politician, Bola Tinimbo. The fact that they are receiving very little recognition, such as endorsements from the people, may push them to give up on their presidential ambition and back Tinubu for the party to remain in power. And the fact that Tinubu may offer them a good position if he comes to power. Another reason is that the people from the Southeast have a low contribution to the APC party, which may affect the politician's chances of getting the party flag bearer. Let us recall that in 2019, Roti Amici was said it would be hard for the APC to give a ticket to the southeastern politician as the people of a region refused to support Buhari in the 2019 election. Yet, the southeasterners, they're not hiding it. I don't even think APC, APC, is APC thriving there? I don't think so. They have, they have, yeah, but it is very little. And this is why the current governor that is an APC man is currently, he was not voted in by the people. The people will tell you, the, the Supreme Court just, you know, just they came and forced this person on us. They didn't vote him in. Now, they, they, they don't hide it that they do. I don't know why it was they have against the APC. So, this is say, I don't know what, what they have against the APC. But they're not hiding it that they don't support those people. And they always say that they did not. I mean, they would not, that they don't have any intention anytime soon. So, it is going to be very, impo as in, it is going to be very difficult for the APC to zone their tickets to the South Coast region. Because whether you like it or not, what every party, APC, PDP, APGA, any other party, YPP, what they stand to do is to go and clinch the position of a president, then dominate other states. That is what they want to do. They want to remain as the ruling party. That ruling party, they think they total read their body too much. So that's what they want to do. So anything that will help them do that is what they are doing. Anything that will help the, up their game and help them to come out and emerge as the winner. Ha. They will do it. They don't care about, I, I say it now, they don't care about the people. The people are the people. Uh, I've told you people who time with that number. Those who are busy killing themselves, uh, PDP, APC, uh, all those things. They are being used to. <laughs> yes, even if they come and tell you, uh, they're going to give you position, they'll give you contract. Uncle, they are, being, they are using you. They will give you something to them tomorrow. You've expected to do them a favor. That is just it. 
That is it. So people who are who are say, still saying at this point in time in this our Nigeria that um you are going to be supporting PDP uh, APC or you are going to be voting by party and no, you are still in the 15th century. You have to come forward. Things have changed. We have tried voting by party. It has led us nowhere. We have tried voting by popularity. It has led us nowhere. We have tried vo voting by um, experience. It has led us nowhere. So it is now time we try someone who is competent. Competence, merits, the person who merits this position. So that when he goes in, nobody will be telling him, I voted for you. I gave you 10,000 votes. So I gave you 10 million votes. Mm -mm. He's going to do his work well. If he wants to pick people to work for him, he will also pick, in turn, pick people that merit the position. So that they can now make Nigeria better. I mean, I know one time like that. And what is to celebrate the shame of Ibo leaders when they fail to get the president? We will then know who is wise and who is telling the truth. The truth is that ah, it is a very difficult task. It is, a very, it is very difficult. I don't know how they'll do it. I don't know. I don't know. The PDP themselves, who are uh, popular in the southeastern region, the PDP, yes, they also want to remain. They want to rule. They want to go back to status quo and start answering the ruling party. So they themselves will do everything in their power to give it to a candidate that is, you know, uh, they give, they give the, the flag bearers a candidate that is going to help them achieve that. Yes, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So about the Southeastern people now coming out to, the Southeastern people now coming out, the Igbo politicians now coming out to support to number, well, <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. But at the end of the day, all I know is the South, the South will, 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 will become, be the one of, one, in the South is Southwest, you know, one of them will become our president. It is, it is, it is very, as in, from what we are politically speaking now, from the analysis, that is what is, is looking like is going to happen. But if the Igbo politicians, well, someone, the APC might just, you know, sh um, when they see that they don't get the, they don't get the, presidential flag they are going to just have to support working to work to support of course they're in the same party so they are going to do that except they are now like you know instead of this will happen you know we are going to support somebody else which i don't think is going to happen anyway okay on this note we've come to the end of the news we say thank you for tuning in to listen until i come here next time enjoy the rest of the day